What is going on, everybody? Happy Thursday, or Friday or Saturday, whenever you're watching it, but it's Thursday right now for us. Welcome to Good To Go. I'm Noah Kravitz from Techno Buffalo. And I'm James Kendrick from ZDNet Mobile News. It's our, it's our uh, de facto sponsored by the HTC Flyer edition. Uh, <laughs> but we were talking, uh, James and I were talking, Which, before we got on Except for the camera, money part. What's the that? Sponsorship the sponsorship, except for the money part. Except for the money part. You hear? I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a new <laughs> note here. Uh, I was gonna say. Talk money next time. Your. Oh, I forgot to turn my other phone off. Oh we go. man, those HTC guys are fast. They are. They are. Your uh, your dollar <laughs> signs here. Put your money where your mouth is, and it'll show up in our. Uh, erasable tablets. James, how are you yeah. doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Noah? I'm good. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm not even paying attention to you. <laughs> I got phones ringing. I'm drawing notes. You know, it's all, it's, it's all good. I, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I was, uh, uh, with the news, we're taping this on Thursday. And so big news this morning about Google wallet and all that stuff. And, and I was at a thing earlier this week talking a lot about nfc and so that was on my brain and then we got on the line to, to talk about what we're talking about and we're playing with gadgets over you know over the skype connection here and uh that's good man it's, it's good to bring it back to the fun you know because that's what it's all about i'm sitting here taping the thing i got three devices in my lap ready to talk about so let's just let's get into it we've both got a flyer uh, you're you're liking the flyer tell the tell the people why well, I, I am. I, it's a gingerbread bearing tablet, and I'm finding the gingerbread and the uh, the new HTC Sense 2.1 for tablet, which is what this is running. It's called is really nice. I'm actually finding it a better tablet experience than Honeycomb. Right. Personally. Yeah. No, I would I would tend to agree with you there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, a, it, it, it it's solid. Right. Yeah, it's rock solid. The camera's not too good. If you wanna. No, it's get it's, down to brass tacks. I mean, HTC cameras have never been what I found to be great. Right. And this one is is average. You know, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just a, right. It's just got one. But I mean, the whole thing that separates the flyer from all the other tablets, Android tablets on the market, of course, is the the magic pen. And, right. And I mean. The, Ability to take note. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Instead of paying attention to you, you know, I I took your picture and and wrote your name and. Well, see, that's 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 the way it should be, and and that what makes these notes. If anybody's not familiar, I mean, it does uh, off. It does kind of being able to take eag notes does sound like a little bit of a gimmick, right? But I'm actually finding it because of the way it's seamlessly integrated into the Evernote service. Yeah. It's absolutely very well implemented. I mean, I took this good to go. I, I wrote this just as we were I, dialing up, I, getting ready for the call. I, here I am. I'm all with my notes. Thing. I just ripped off your, you did it. And I said, oh, that looks like fun. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I wrote this down, and instantly, because of the Evernote cloud, that note in my actual handwriting appeared on every single device and computer I use. Right, but right. Actually, I can I can prove that. I won't just – don't take my word for it. I'm, I've been known to be a compulsive liar. On my, on my Evo 4G, oh, Evo, that, okay. that's running, Evo, uh, yeah. running Evernote. Yeah. And it's actually even appended to the top in – real tech note this is a screenshot of the note that you created on the htc flyer right i didn't do that right it just right just appeared right and so what i use as we were talking before the show i mean i, I i'm all the time thinking about articles i'm going to write ahead and stuff and and all the time wanting to jot down quick notes you know you don't want to lose it you just want to write it down yeah and with this, I can sit, be sitting there in front of the big screen TV and just jot down some notes and not have to do anything else. Instantly, yeah. no matter where I happen to start working on the article, my notes are there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the way technology I'm, is supposed to work. Yeah, you know, and I'm the same way for, for, you know, when I got an iPad, 
the first time around and then with these other capacitive tablets. I've tried a handful of those, uh, you know, $10, $15 capacitive, uh, you know, the little stylus with the little foam on the yeah. end, whatever they do with it to make it capacitive. I hate those. And yeah, they never, I just, I, because I, I like, I write, I do my work on a keyboard on the computer, but, but like you were saying, you know, for notes and brainstorming and that kind of stuff, pad of paper and a pen, you know, that's really how I, I think best. And so I would love to have a digital way to do that, but those, mm -hmm. you know, those, those, the, the whole $80 pen thing or whatever it's actually going to cost, you know, I'm starting to feel like there's a reason because it actually works. I can actually write and draw with it. And, uh, well, I, I think that the reason that, that Best Buy wanted it separate, the pen, was because not everybody's going to want it. Yeah. And you know how everybody wants to keep the, the price down as cheap as possible. Yeah. Now, I have been told, led to believe by Sprint that, you know, they're going to carry this uh, under the name HTC View 3, 4D or 4G. Right, right. Or, Evo View or something like that. Evo View, what, whatever. It's coming with, with the, the pen. pen. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. smart. So, yeah. yeah. And, and what a lot of people don't realize, that you may not even, uh, because you don't really use Evernote, I don't think. No, I after talking to you, I'm, as soon as we're done, I'm signing up. What's fantastic about Evernote, as probably a lot of our viewers already know, because Evernote's been around for, I've been using it for years yep. without this, you know. It, it once you capture an image and that can be text ink that you write or mm -hmm. a picture that you snap or whatever as soon as it syncs to the evernote servers which is instantly it starts ocring it in the background right right so all of your little notes that you jot down in front of your tv you can search on for keywords of those in your right. handwriting right and evernote will find it Right. So, oh, you mean this note where you wrote that? I mean, that's just yeah, yeah, awesome. No, I, I mean, mean that's, that's the. Uh, I have a, uh, <laughs> I got a uh, a neat desk scanner for review. You know, to deal with business cards and and receipts and that kind of thing. Between that and you know something like like Evernote, you would think I should be able to organize myself. So maybe that'll be my. Well, you, can, you can if you if you set your mind to. That, that'll be my my good to go I've challenge used, for the summer. I've used Evernote on my phones to capture business cards before, and yeah. sure enough, it OCRs it, and you yeah. can search for their name, get get all their information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it works pretty well. What um? So another uh, besides HTC now, Evernote, you you know sponsorships are open. Evernote <laughs> exactly, <I> mean, <laughs> exactly. I mean. I mean, the, the the point is, I mean, we like to talk about the, the, the stuff that we use and yeah. that we and, and that really works for us because that's more beneficial to, to viewers than as talk about something we read about. Because right. Right. Yeah. This is real. I mean, this is. And that's, real. Yeah. And that's, you know, for me, I'm always within arm's reach, literally, of either a, my smartphone or my computer often both. And so mm -hmm. tablets to me are neat, but I don't actually use them very much beyond reviewing them. Um, just because it, it's always like, if I have work I need to do, I need a, a computer that can, you know, video edit and I want a keyboard, the whole thing. And if I'm just reading stuff, it's usually just quicker to grab my phones in my pocket or my phones on the desk than to, uh, you know, go find a tablet kind of thing. But, you know, this is that, that use case of digital paper, basically, and digital paper that syncs, digital paper that can be OCR'd, digital paper that can include photos and colors and drawings and, you know, the whole thing. Um, and audio. And, and audio. Mean, you can snap pictures like you just showed. Right, right. You can record voice notes. And, and in fact, if you get going with Evernote, that's, a, that's one of the big uses I use for my smartphones because just fire up Evernote, tell it new, note, new audio note. And right. just capture a quick voice. You don't yeah. want to. Yeah. I don't want to type anything. I don't right. want to do anything. Right. And, and it and it's there. And in that way, I can always access it yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, just the one the one thing stuff. The one thing with Flyer that I will have to turn off is uh, it's got a neat feature where when you do a note, it checks your calendar, and it'll say, yeah. "Oh, it looks like you're in a meeting. Do you want mm -hmm. to make this note associated with the meeting?" 
but it keeps telling yeah. me it wants to associate it with my Facebook friends' birthdays because I have my Facebook <laughs> account looked up, and I don't actually know any of the people I'm Facebook friends with. So, you know. Yeah, but you you know when their birthdays are. I know when their you, birthdays are, which means I owe a lot of people. Yeah, cards. no, I think there's yeah. a way you can tell it yeah, to turn yeah, out yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's that's an Android, I think. Yeah, right. Thing, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty useful stuff. I love it when technology does what it should and helps you out. Right. I mean, that's right. not always the case. I not mean, all, yeah, exactly. Sometimes technology is cool, and while we're the geeks of us like to play, oh, this is cool, or something new, it's cool. If it doesn't really benefit us, as yeah. you know, after a day, you're yes. like, what did I do with that? I yeah. set that over somewhere. Yeah. It was kind of not as cool anymore. Right, right. But I, I can see this really useful for me. Um, I actually... Won't be surprised if I end up buying one of these at some point. Right, just right. Just because I'm a sucker for gadgets. Uh, one, one, for me, one minor drawback, I do find it a little bit heavy. And it can get away with it because it's a 7-inch device, but, yeah. you know, I want it to weigh less. Yeah, that's uh, that's true, particularly compared to my Galaxy Tab, which is a little bit lighter. Yeah. Although I believe this is about the same, or maybe even a little lighter than the play, the BlackBerry Playbook. Oh, is that right? Okay. But it's it is just because it's the sturdy aluminum, right? One. Which that's, is nice. That's the yeah. price you pay. Yeah. I mean, and it's actually a good price because I I uh, it's kind of slippery, and I actually dropped it today. Okay. I'll tell HTC if they're watching. This is theirs, yeah. <laughs> and they get it back. But it didn't do anything. I mean, no, right. no right. scratch, dents, right. nothing. So, hey, hey, speaking of uh, speaking of not telling people stuff, I think last week you teased uh, some really cool product that you wish you could talk about, but you couldn't. Or I guess two weeks ago now, because we didn't do the show last week. So uh -huh. last time around, you had a product that you were psyched about, but you weren't allowed to talk about it yet. Oh, yeah. right, it's been so long. It's been so yeah. long, yeah. Can you talk about it yeah. now? Yeah. Well, yeah, I can. And actually, I've reviewed it and everything. It's uh, as we skipped a week, so right. So, so it's we, been. We, yeah. we actually missed it. Yeah. But I, I was referring to the uh, the ThinkPad X1. The X1, yeah. You know the the thin, thinnest ThinkPad right. ever. And uh, I had been using it um, for a while at our last show, and I, oh, I was really impressed yeah. with that thing. Yeah. I mean, it's not MacBook Air thin, but it's way thinner than you expect a ThinkPad to be. Right, right. And it's got all of the, uh, it's a full-blown uh, Sandy Bridge Core i5 and right. fast hard drive. I mean, the thing just it flies. Smokes, yeah. You know, flies and gets good battery. And it has a little slice wedge battery okay. option. Right, you right. Can stick on it and double the battery life on it. So that's right. what it was. Right. It, it just wasn't out there. Yeah. Because at that time, we weren't sure we weren't going to do the show the next week. Right, so exactly. I, or I yeah. wouldn't have teased it because yeah. I was thinking we were going to do right, it. Right, right, right. Well, I did get I did get a uh, – I've had some Twitter comments, some follow-ups, you know, like, what was that product James was talking about? So, uh, yeah, we always get – Yeah. Get uh, – it's easy for us to forget sometimes. Exactly. What, well, what did I mention last week exactly. you know, that yep. I, I need to address? But, yeah, viewers keep us honest. I know that's, like, that's... You jerk. <laughs> you, you said that you didn't say. Exactly. And now I'm not happy. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing it's about that time. Yes, you're guessing right. I was just about to give you a sign. Give me the high sign. Uh, real quick, uh, 30 seconds or less on mobile wallets. Your thoughts on mobile wallets? We'll have to see how it pans out. I've, I'm, I'm just NFC has not excited me yet because I, I see a long rollout period. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't want to have to keep track of. Okay, I'm, I'm running out the door. Where can I pay for with this again? Right. I forget. That's yeah, yeah. That's the kind of thing. But we'll yeah. see. I yep. mean, these things take time. I remember the when debit cards first really got built. Right. It's yep. the same way. Where where can I where use can I it? use it? Where can I not? Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. that's kind of my my thoughts on. It. Yeah. All right, James. Well, until next time, if people want more of you, 
What's the URL? Where's the blog? It is ZDNet.com slash blog slash mobile dash news. I'm gonna I'm writing that out on the flyer, but you can't read my handwriting anyway. It's, I don't right. think ever know if I, OCR. I my don't handwriting. need to read your handwriting. Only you. <laughs> Exactly. All right. And I am, as always, over at technobuffalo.com. So if you can't get enough of us in the week in between the next show, that's where you can go. Until next time, James, I hope uh, I hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have some fun down there. Yeah, you too. In yeah, Texas, the cool. uh, official beginning of summer. I'll, I'll have to wear my summer whites on our, on our next show. There you go. I try to avoid whites, but that's another story. <laughs> All right. Until next time, James. All right. We'll see, see you, Noah.